I'm Louisa from the Queen's of Community Council and I chaired the meeting tonight um, which was a public meeting um, with the residents of Queen's of Orange and Inclusive um, so that they had the opportunity to tell their regional MSPs, their local MP, firsties um, and SPT what they thought of um, the removal of the 24 and X36. Um, the feeling from the meeting tonight was that they were absolutely disgusted that the service was getting removed um, and we've heard lots of stories of how many people are going to be affected um, with access to services, um, further opportunities, employment, young people getting to further education um, and we really, really want to try and save these services and interlink them or regulate them in the future as well as happening again. X86 service would make it, make it unable for me to visit my elderly parents um, hospitals that I can't access the hospital transport because of pulling them out for below my feet as well and as of, at the moment I'm ill so I rely on these services to get to hospital when I can't get hospital transport. The services aren't run properly, I use a bus service in Glasgow which runs every 10 minutes and these buses run with one or two people on them. They're running at a reduced cost to what they pay out here for them, and we don't have the service that they have. My daughter uses the X86 to get to her work in Bishop Briggs. How's she going to get to her work? Yeah, she tries, but she can't get the car all the time. She doesn't have her own car. So how's she going to get to work? Is Brian going to come and get her? I don't know. The app that first bus have put on the phone and doesn't work. So she's paid £57. Pound. So she's to reinstate that because it doesn't. She went on the bus yesterday and it wouldn't work. So she had to pay to get on the bus then. She's already paid £57, pound, but she's now to pay £4 pound something. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. That's happened twice. So that's two lots of £57. Pound. And they're saying they don't make any money. That bus is busy and she works shifts and that bus is always busy. Sometimes she's to stand till they get to Kirky and then she can get a seat on the bus. So I don't understand why it's not a viable service. Looking to save these services by bringing communities together and uh, working together um, locally um, to, to try and show how important these services are um, through petitions, through writing to the MSPs, writing to the MPs and showing them how vital these services are. Um, really want to try and save these services and, um, and show how important it is to get them interlinked in the future.